Hey guys, have you ever felt lonely and that no one cares about you and your life just basically sucks? Well, that's Hazel Grace every day in The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. 16 year old Hazel Grace has a vicious case of lung cancer, which forces her to carry around an oxygen tank all the time. And she named it Philip. And, anyways, she goes to support group like every week and she can't seem to find the reason why, like the reason of going. And well, one day, she happens to meet a very handsome guy, and his name is Augustus. And then he just, he just survived his cancer. He had osteosarcoma, but now he is currently NEC. Woohoo! So Hazel goes over to Gus's house for the first time while his mom is chefing up some enchiladas. And they watch Gus's favorite movie, V for Vendetta. Who likes to read? Hazel Grace does. It appears to be that her favorite book is An Imperial Affliction by Peter Van Houten. It's about a young girl named Anna who suffers from cancer. And it ends in the middle of a... Gus loves the book too. But sadly, his best friend Isaac got heartbroken by his girlfriend, all because he had to get his eyes removed because of his cancer. Augustus Waters phones Hazel Grace to talk about an imperial affliction and how much they both love the book. He mentions that he sent an email to Peter Van Houten, the writer, and she really wants to write one for herself. So she spends hours trying to perfect her email, including questions that she'd love to be answered, such as what happens to Anna's pet hamster, and does her mother marry the Dutch Tula Man or not? And etc. Then he sends her an email back saying that he can't answer the questions over email and he can only do it face to face. So he mentions that they should meet up one day and so he can answer the questions. Have you ever compared yourself to anything? Well, Hazel thinks that she's a grenade. She says that if she ever comes close to someone, she will definitely hurt them. So, Gus does not think so. He actually likes her. So, he says that he wants to use his Make-A-Wish on her. He says that he wants to take her to Amsterdam to see and meet the brains behind an imperial affliction. So, before they go, Hazel goes to the ICU because she had like a series of explosions in her head. So Gus comes to visit her every so often and one time that, she, that he was visiting, he explained to her that time is a slut because it screws everyone over. Hazel realizes something very important. She realizes that she has fallen in love with Gus. She receives an email from Lee Devive and Hoon's assistant informing her that her preparations for her trip to Amsterdam have been confirmed. She was very excited. She decided to text Gus immediately after she got the news. We're going to Amsterdam! They arrive in Amsterdam and they finally meet the person they've been literally dying to meet. And they get there and discover that he is a drunken asshole and they start yelling at him and then they leave they storm out with Levi who just quit after their encounter with Van Houten Gus finally comes clean and tells Hazel that before their trip he was diagnosed with cancer again later on something really dramatic happens and Hazel and Gus are no more. You don't get to choose if you get hurt in this world, old man. But you do have some saying who hurt you. I like my choices. I hope she likes hers. I, I do, do, Augustus. I do. Thanks for watching. Best wishes, Carson Dykes. Hope you enjoyed it. Best wishes, Sam DeCarlo. Don't forget to read The Fallen Our Stars. Best wishes, Serena DeCarlo.